When it comes to managing your health, few topics are as confusing and misunderstood as triglycerides and dietary fat. There's a flood of information and misinformation out there, which makes it hard to know what's true and what's just a myth. Unfortunately, these myths can lead to poor choices that negatively affect your heart health and overall well-being. Many people think that all fat is bad or that high triglycerides are solely caused by eating fatty foods. But the reality is far more complex. Some fats are actually essential for your health and triglycerides can be influenced by many factors beyond diet, including genetics and lifestyle. Falling for common misconceptions about fat and triglycerides might make you avoid important nutrients or adopt ineffective strategies that don't improve your blood fats. In this video, we're going to bust the top seven myths about triglycerides and fat in your diet. We'll explore the science behind each myth, reveal why it's misleading, and share what you really need to know to protect your heart and manage your triglycerides effectively. Whether you're newly diagnosed, trying to prevent heart disease, or just want to understand your body better, learning the truth about triglycerides and fat is the first step toward making smart, informed choices. Let's clear up the confusion and set the record straight. Myth number one. All fats raise your triglycerides and are bad for heart health. A common myth is that eating any kind of fat automatically raises your triglycerides and damages your heart. This misconception often leads people to avoid all fats entirely or choose low-fat processed foods which can do more harm than good. The truth is that not all fats are created equal. Different types of fats have very different effects on triglycerides and heart health. For example, unsaturated fats found in foods like olive oil, avocados, nuts, and fatty fish can actually help lower triglycerides and improve your lipid profile. These fats support healthy cholesterol levels by increasing HDL, the good cholesterol, and reducing inflammation. On the other hand, trans fats, mostly found in processed and fried foods, are notorious for raising LDL, the bad cholesterol, and triglycerides, while lowering HDL. Consuming trans fats significantly increases the risk of heart disease and should be avoided. Saturated fats found in red meat butter and full-fat dairy have a more complex relationship with lipid levels. While some studies show saturated fats may raise LDL cholesterol, their impact on triglycerides varies depending on the individual and overall diet quality. It's also important to note that fats do not directly raise triglycerides as much as excessive carbohydrate and sugar intake do. High intakes of refined carbs and added sugars cause the liver to produce more triglycerides contributing to elevated blood fat levels. In summary, fats are not inherently bad. Choosing the right types of fats and balancing your overall diet is key to maintaining healthy triglycerides and protecting your heart. Avoid trans fats, limit excessive saturated fats, and include plenty of unsaturated fats to support optimal lipid health. Myth number two. Eating cholesterol-rich foods raises your blood cholesterol and triglycerides. For years, many people have believed that consuming foods high in cholesterol, such as eggs, shellfish, and organ meats, directly increases blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels. This myth has led to widespread fear and avoidance of these nutrient-dense foods. But scientific research paints a much more nuanced picture. It's true that dietary cholesterol can influence blood cholesterol levels, but for most people, the impact is minimal. The liver produces most of the cholesterol your body needs, and when you consume more cholesterol from food, your liver typically compensates by producing less. This self-regulating mechanism keeps blood cholesterol levels relatively stable in many individuals. Several large studies have shown that eating moderate amounts of cholesterol-rich foods does not significantly raise LDL cholesterol or triglycerides in the majority of people. For example, consuming eggs once vilified for their cholesterol content has been linked in research to either neutral or even beneficial effects on heart health when eaten as part of a balanced diet. 
However, some individuals are hyper-responders, meaning their blood cholesterol levels may rise more noticeably when they consume cholesterol-rich foods. Even in these cases, the increase is often in both LDL and HDL cholesterol, and the overall cardiovascular risk does not necessarily increase. It's also important to differentiate between cholesterol and triglycerides. While cholesterol is a structural component of cell membranes and a precursor for hormones, triglycerides are the main form of fat stored in the body. Dietary cholesterol itself does not directly raise triglyceride levels. Triglycerides are more influenced by excess calories, especially from sugars and refined carbohydrates. In summary, the blanket avoidance of cholesterol-rich foods is unnecessary for most people and may deprive them of valuable nutrients. Focus instead on overall dietary patterns, emphasizing whole foods healthy fats and limited added sugars to support healthy cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Myth number three. Low-fat diets are always best for lowering triglycerides and improving heart health. For decades, low-fat diets were widely recommended as the gold standard for heart health and lowering blood lipids like triglycerides. The assumption was that eating less fat, especially saturated fat, would directly translate to better cholesterol levels and reduced cardiovascular risk. However, modern research shows that this approach is overly simplistic and sometimes misleading. One major issue with low-fat diets is that when fat is removed, it's often replaced with refined carbohydrates and sugars to maintain flavor and texture in processed foods. These refined carbs and added sugars are significant contributors to high triglyceride levels because they stimulate the liver to produce more triglycerides from excess glucose. So a low-fat diet, high in sugars and refined starches, can actually worsen triglyceride levels and overall lipid profiles. Additionally, not all fats are harmful. All healthy fats such as monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats found in olive oil nuts, seeds, and fatty fish play a critical role in lowering triglycerides and raising HDL cholesterol, the protective good cholesterol. These fats also reduce inflammation and improve endothelial function, which are essential for cardiovascular health. Studies comparing low-fat diets to moderate or higher-fat diets rich in healthy fats consistently show that the latter more effectively reduce triglycerides and improve lipid profiles. For example, Mediterranean-style diets, which are moderate in fat but high in unsaturated fats, have been proven to lower triglycerides and decrease heart disease risk. In summary, simply reducing fat intake without considering what replaces it is not the best strategy for managing triglycerides or heart health. Prioritizing the quality of fats and reducing added sugars and refined carbs is far more effective. A balanced diet that includes healthy fats supports optimal lipid levels and overall cardiovascular well-being. Myth number four. Eating fat makes you fat and raises your triglycerides. One of the most persistent myths around diet and health is the belief that eating fat directly causes weight gain and raises triglyceride levels. This misconception has caused many people to fear fats and avoid them altogether, often at the expense of their overall health. The truth is more complex. While fats are the most calorie-dense macronutrient providing 9 calories per gram compared to 4 calories per gram for carbohydrates and proteins, eating fat in moderation does not automatically lead to weight gain. Weight gain occurs when there is a consistent calorie surplus regardless of whether those calories come from fats, carbohydrates, or proteins. In fact, fats can be beneficial for weight management because they promote satiety, helping you feel fuller for longer and potentially reducing overall calorie intake. Healthy fats from sources like olive oil, nuts, avocados, and fatty fish support metabolic health and may aid in maintaining a healthy weight. Regarding triglycerides, it's important to understand that dietary fat itself does not significantly raise blood triglyceride levels. 
Elevated triglycerides are more commonly linked to excessive intake of refined carbohydrates and added sugars which increase insulin levels and stimulate the liver to produce triglycerides. Moreover, certain types of fats, especially unsaturated fats found in plant oils and fish, can actually help lower triglyceride levels and improve your lipid profile. Conversely, trans fats and excessive saturated fats can negatively affect triglycerides, but this is different from blaming all dietary fats. In summary, eating fat does not inherently cause fat gain or raise triglycerides. The key is the quality and quantity of fats in your diet, as well as your overall calorie balance. Choosing healthy fats and maintaining a balanced diet supports both weight management and healthy triglyceride levels. Myth number 5. Only overweight or obese people have high triglycerides. It's a common misconception that high triglyceride levels only affect people who are overweight or obese. While excess body weight is a significant risk factor for elevated triglycerides, this condition can and does affect individuals of all shapes and sizes. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in your blood, and their levels can be influenced by many factors beyond body weight. Genetics, diet, physical activity, metabolic health, and certain medical conditions all play critical roles in determining triglyceride levels. For example, some people have a genetic predisposition to high triglycerides known as familial hypertriglyceridemia, which can cause elevated levels regardless of their body weight. Others may have normal weight, but suffer from insulin resistance type 2 diabetes or hypothyroidism, all of which can contribute to high triglycerides. Dietary choices are another major factor. Consuming excessive refined carbohydrates, sugary beverages, and alcohol can raise triglycerides even in individuals who are not overweight. Sedentary lifestyle and certain medications can also affect triglyceride levels independently of weight. This myth can be harmful because it may lead normal weight individuals to overlook their risk or delay necessary testing and lifestyle changes. Triglyceride testing should be part of regular health checkups for everyone, not just those with excess weight. In summary, while being overweight or obese increases the risk high triglycerides can occur in anyone, understanding this helps encourage proactive health monitoring and personalized strategies to manage blood fats regardless of body size. Myth number six. You can rely solely on medication to control triglycerides without lifestyle changes. Many people believe that once prescribed medication for high triglycerides, they no longer need to focus on diet exercise or other lifestyle habits. This myth can be dangerous because it overlooks the vital role lifestyle plays in managing triglycerides and overall heart health. While medications such as fibrates, niacin or prescription omega-3 fatty acids can effectively lower triglyceride levels, they are most effective when combined with healthy lifestyle modifications. Relying solely on medication may not address the root causes of high triglycerides, such as poor diet, physical inactivity, excess weight, or smoking. Lifestyle changes can significantly impact triglyceride levels. For example, reducing intake of added sugars and refined carbohydrates, increasing physical activity, achieving and maintaining a healthy weight, and limiting alcohol consumption have all been shown to lower triglycerides naturally. Moreover, a healthy lifestyle supports medication effectiveness and may even reduce the needed dosage, minimizing potential side effects. It also improves other cardiovascular risk factors such as blood pressure and blood sugar control, which medication alone may not fully address. Ignoring lifestyle factors while depending only on medication may lead to suboptimal health outcomes and increased risk of heart disease. In summary, medication can be a valuable tool for controlling triglycerides, but should never replace a heart-healthy lifestyle. Combining medical treatment with dietary improvements, regular exercise, and other healthy habits offers the best chance to lower triglycerides and protect your heart long-term. Myth number seven. All carbohydrates raise triglycerides and should be avoided. There is a widespread belief that all carbohydrates have a negative impact on triglyceride levels 
and that avoiding carbs entirely is the best strategy for heart health. While it's true that excessive intake of certain carbohydrates can raise triglycerides, the reality is more nuanced. Carbohydrates are a diverse group of nutrients, ranging from simple sugars to complex fibers. It is primarily the consumption of refined carbohydrates and added sugars such as white bread pastries, sugary drinks, and sweets that contribute to elevated triglyceride levels. These rapidly digestible carbs cause spikes in blood sugar and insulin, which stimulate the liver to produce more triglycerides. On the other hand, complex carbohydrates found in whole grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables are rich in fiber and have a slower, more controlled effect on blood sugar. Fiber helps reduce triglycerides by binding fats and cholesterol in the gut and improving insulin sensitivity. Completely eliminating all carbohydrates from your diet can lead to nutrient deficiencies and a lack of dietary fiber, which is essential for maintaining healthy lipid levels. Low-carb diets can be beneficial for some individuals, but should focus on quality carbohydrates rather than total avoidance. In summary, not all carbohydrates raise triglycerides. The key is to limit refined carbs and added sugars while including plenty of fiber-rich complex carbohydrates to support healthy blood fats and overall cardiovascular health. Navigating the world of triglycerides and dietary fats can feel overwhelming, especially with so many myths clouding the truth. As we've uncovered today, not all fats are harmful. Not all carbohydrates raise triglycerides, and relying solely on medication without lifestyle changes is not enough. Understanding these myths is crucial for making informed decisions that truly support your heart health. By dispelling these common misconceptions, you're empowered to focus on what really matters, choosing healthy fats like those from olive oil nuts and fatty fish, moderating added sugars and refined carbs and embracing a balanced lifestyle that includes regular physical activity and mindful eating. At MediMint, we're dedicated to guiding you through clear, science-backed information that helps you take control of your health confidently. We believe that knowledge is the first step toward lasting change, and we're here to support you on that journey. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to MediMint for more practical tips and insights on nutrition and heart health. Sharing this video with your loved ones could help them break free from myths and make better choices too. Remember, every small change counts, and understanding the facts about triglycerides and fats is a powerful step toward a healthier, happier you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.